Hello, my learner. Welcome. This is your teacher, Mwaleli, uh, with a very interesting lesson on biology, excretion, and homostasis. This is chapter 4 of Form 2 Biology. I hope you are ready with your pen and your notebook, and take notes as we go through this chapter. I want to start by doing an introduction whereby we are going to define some very important terms. Excretion, we will define homostasis, we will also define egestion and also secretion. This will help us to have a good overview of the whole chapter and therefore you will be able to understand more as we move on. So let's begin by defining the term excretion. What is excretion? Excretion is the process by which organisms separate and eliminate metabolic waste products from their bodies. When we talk about metabolic waste products, these are products that emanate from reactions in the body. The sum total of all the reactions in the body is what is known as metabolism. Such reactions include respiration. Can you be able to mention an example of a waste that is produced during respiration? I hope you can do that. Good. Carbon-4 oxide. There are many other metabolic waste products that we are going to highlight as we move on. Now to our next term, homostasis. Homostasis is a self-adjusting mechanism that maintains a steady state in the internal environment of living organisms in order to provide optimum conditions for body metabolism. Now notice the term steady. In other words, the conditions in the body, that is the internal environment, must be maintained at a certain level. Fluctuations in the state must be within narrow ranges. An example is body temperature. Your body temperature must be maintained at around 37.5 degrees. Otherwise, if the temperature increases higher than that, you have issues with fever. This is high temperature and that's when we say that somebody is sick. So notice also the term homostasis. There is a prefix home. Home, home, home would mean an area of comfort. Huh? Home is where you enjoy being, where you, you are happy. You're okay. That is home. So we want our body to be at home. Conditions in the internal environment. Internal environment here, we are talking about the conditions in the cell as well as conditions around the cell. They must be maintained at a steady state. This one will, will ensure that the cells operate optimally. They operate normally and uh, without any hitches. Now let's move on. Examples of metabolic waste products. One, carbon-4 oxide. Two, nitrogenous wastes. Three, excess water. Four, mineral salts. Five, tannins. Six, quinine. And seven, resins. Good. Let's look at another term, egestion. Egestion is the removal of undigested materials from food vacuoles or alimentary canals of animals. Another term, secretion. Secretion is the release of certain useful substances produced by cells. Such substances include hormones, enzymes, 3. Mucus, 4. 
oxalates, 5 sebum. Notice the difference between excretion and secretion. What, what is the difference? What do you think is the difference? Good. Excre in excretion, the, the materials are wastes. They are not useful to the body. Okay? While well, in secretion, there is a release of materials or substances that are useful. Uh, they are useful in the body. Now, notice that metabolic waste products should not be left to accumulate in the cells or in the tissue fluid surrounding the cells because they become poisonous or toxic to the cells, meaning that they interfere with the normal function of the cells. And this one can be fatal. If they are not checked, the cells may actually cease to function. Metabolic processes also release energy in the form of heat and therefore alter body temperature. Yeah, some of these reactions in the body produce heat and the heat can be too much leading to, to, to high temperatures that actually even destroy uh, parts of the cell. You are aware that, uh, that, that uh, the cell has uh, proteinous substances uh, and, uh, and we understand from form 1 biology that protein, and that includes even enzymes, are natured at temperatures above 40 degrees. So we need to check the heat for normal function of the cell. And this one we shall look at it later on our discussion on homostasis, which is actually aimed at bringing the conditions in the body to normal, to normal level. So in this case, we are talking about heat or temperature. The temperature must be maintained at a, at a normal level so that the, the, the working of the cell can be optimal and can be good without any hitches. All right. As I conclude, excretion and homostasis ensures a suitable working environment for cells. Waste products and useful factors such as pH of body fluids, body temperature, etc. are kept at very low and narrow ranges in the internal environment. Mark the term narrow ranges. We don't want uh, uh, big changes, large changes in the, in the internal environment. This one will definitely affect the normal function of the cell. So uh, homostasis is actually the mechanism that is involved in checking these uh, factors such as pH, Mm, sorry, uh, such as temp body temperature, uh, sugar levels in blood, and so on. Uh, they are checked to in to ensure that they are they are controlled, regulated to narrow ranges. And we are talking about the this one is in the internal environment. That is the conditions within and around the cells. There are various methods of disposing waste products in plants and animals. So some of these methods include one, diffusion, and two, evaporation from the body. So my dear learners, this has been an introduction to excretion and homostasis. In our next episode, we shall look at excretion in plants. I hope that you have enjoyed the lesson. And uh, feel free to give your comment or your feedback or your questions to my YouTube channel at Mualili. Peter, or you can uh, just check my Twitter handle at Malili Peter, and uh, we can share more. And I'm sure you'll continue to learn as we uh, continue. So welcome so much, and see you later. Bye bye.